What's going on, everyone? This is Patrick from Tomorrow Comes Movies. We are live at Comic-Con Revolution in Ontario, California with a legendary voice actor. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Berger, how you doing? Hey, I'm good. Uh, we caught a quiet moment. I'm very happy to have the opportunity to talk to you. Awesome. Thank you. And my first question is, what inspired you to become an actor? Uh, inspired me to become an actor. I, uh, You know what? I've always been attracted to voice-driven roles. I've always been attracted to just finding out if people, from the time I was little, if they sounded like I thought they would sound, so I would engage, but this is weird, but I would engage strangers in conversation when I was very young, just because I, I would try to guess what they sounded like and then see if I was right or wrong. At any rate, as an actor, which I, which I really launched into my freshman year of college, I was an English major, but there was one... Uh, comedy, uh, English drawing room comedy, they were going outside the department and my, uh, my roommate from college dragged me to the audition because he said you always use sort of voice driven uh, when you're telling a story or whatever, you go into character. So I played in this, in this uh, play Opening night, the head of the theater department said, what are you doing in the English department? I said, I don't know. I think maybe I'll be a teacher. And he said, don't stop doing what you're doing. But he said, please think about cultivating this side of yourself. He said, you're exactly the kind of performer that we're looking for. So um, if you want to get philosophical, and I do, my direction kind of found me, and at that point I made a left turn and never stopped being passionate about it for a day since. Wow. Now, you've been a part of a lot of big fandoms. What is some of your favorite characters that you voiced? Me, Grimlock! So, uh, I go all the way back to the origins of Transformers Generation 1, and the good people at Hasbro have had me back time after time after time in different incarnations. Uh, I'm Grimlock in uh, Transformers Fall of Cybertron, uh, Transformers Devastation, uh, and I did recently uh, Power of the Primes as Grimlock and as Volcanicus, who's the first Dinobot combiner, which people have been asking for since the 80s. Uh, on the Garfield show, I'm, I'm Squeak the Mouse, who's the only mouse that Garfield won't kick out of the house. We both like cheese, so it works out. Harry the alley cat who lives down the street, Herman the mailman, and Odie. <laughs> Since the very first special for CBS. So uh, that's been a long, wonderful ride, wonderful run. My characters are like my my kids. I can't tell you which one I like the most, but I've been afforded so many opportunities to do things that have become iconic. Uh, I'm Agent K in Men in Black. Shoot him, Jay. He's a cerebro faculoid. You know where to aim. I, 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 um, whatever it is, I've loved it. On G.I. Joe, I was a spirit who says possibility and impossibility are states of mind. Well, I like that worldview. That works for me, too. But I was also Firefly, who just liked to blow stuff up for Cobra. So uh, I've been everywhere doing everything for everyone. I only go where I'm invited, but I've been invited to some very, very nice opportunities. Still don't know what I'm doing next week, but the last 35 years have been pretty extraordinary. I just got to say that I'm fanning out. That was incredible watching you go in and out of the voices. I had a question is... Is that easy for you with all the, you know, the years of practice or, you know, was it just easy for you just to do it out of nowhere? You know, there's a book called Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell who says anyone is 10,000 hours of dedicated hard work away from mastery of anything. So, you know, I still vocalize, but I, my brain is so ready to just step up, at, up to the plate or into the orchestra and pick up the violin and start playing. So, yeah, I still do things that are protective, and I still do things to stretch and learn and grow. But I'm kind of ready, ready. My brain is just facile that way. Oh, and I'm uh, the Gromble on Real Monsters. Ooh, wicked Gromoblina. You're late for class. So, you see, I, I don't hate anybody when I leave work. I get it all out. I, I just attract characters with anger management problems. <laughs> And my last question is, what is the best advice you would give to an aspiring actor or actress? 
I'm going to say take class, take every opportunity you can to uh, hone your craft, realize that it's a skill set, realize that uh, you're not aspiring to be an actor, you're an actor. You want to be gainfully employed, that's a whole other deal. But practice your craft. If you can, get to an improvisation class. Learn to listen as much as you speak. Uh, Learn to stay in the moment. Learn to be spontaneous. In an audition, be prepared, but don't be so prepared that you don't surprise yourself as well as the people that you're auditioning for. You stay loose and you figure it out and uh, you trust yourself enough to take your best shot at whatever it is and realize that you don't get everything. In fact, there's a lot of things you don't get that you want. Uh, But over time, you'll find your audience, you'll find people that, that whatever it is that you bring that's new and different, someone someone will see and hear and feel. Wow, that's really good advice. And if you could look into the camera and tell me they can find you on social media? I haven't stopped looking into the camera. Uh, I'm on social media at Greg Berger on Twitter and Facebook.com slash Greg Berger. And it's G-R-E-G-G-B-E-R-G-E-R. Thank you again. It was a pleasure. Hey, mine too. Cheers. Hey, it's Miley Flanagan, the voice of Naruto Uzumaki. Believe it. And I am giving a shout out to Tomorrow Comes Movies. Tune in.